with my grandmas now again because I have a job and it wasn't about me not following her rules. We had made a deal that if I get a job, I can live under her roof again. Sounds like you're maturing some, but that was if you don't follow the rules now that I'm going to set out, you'll be back in jail. You know, that was cleared up within, like, yeah. days. I'm a grandma. Okay. okay. I'll be back to talk. Well, like I don't it. need to have too many trials in the trials. I'm just saying that's what's important. I didn't have the hearing, but I saw that on the supervised release yeah. violation that she was uh, supposedly kicked out of the house for not following the grandmother's rules for the work. Okay. She wasn't kicked out. All right. Get that cleared up. So, in light of the serious injury uh, to the victim, the sentence is going to be as follows. And I'll just try to explain that to you. I think uh, he didn't work through out of Mabry. They do a lot of good things. They have a garden out there that raises like 20,000 pounds a year that they give to the food banks. You could be working out there or you could be picking up, you know, picking up litter or whatever is going to be assigned to you on work crew. Oh, I'll ask one question before you continue. She is in this community. That, I, sure. Yeah. Are you within Callots, though? Callots. Yeah, she was in Callots with the grandma's residences. Well, she'll figure out how to get there. I can get, I have a call. Okay. Okay. So the sentence is going to be 40 days. 30 of eight, eight of those days is going to be on work crew, and two are going to be in custody. You're going to start that now. I see this easily as serious as a, you know, a high reading DWI. You know, a lot of people attend to drink and have to do 48 hours in jail. I think uh, you need to do some jail time. I believe she hasn't ever been booked right in this case because she's never formally arrested. So that will be it. As to she qualifies in the Plazina case, I don't believe I can impose any of the monetary penalties. Or is she? She's only working two days a week. I assume she's still. I'm working more than two days a week. Okay. She's three, so. Three. Yeah. What's your broad on monthly income then? Uh, I get paid around like four hundred per week. Well, again, my if they change your mind and if they need uh, restitution of out of pocket expenses, I would prefer it go again to the victim. But I will impose the discretionary fine. I do that at $300. The other fees will be waived. You're going to be on a supervised probation just to make sure you uh, follow all these uh, things and get them done as quickly as you can. I'm also going to impose what's called thinking for a change. That's going to be you know, 25 classroom sessions you're going to have to go to. This is something that's supposedly been pretty successful. It's used in the prison system. I want you to understand how close you came to going to prison. And uh, they use it here in Clark County, if, too. I would so, request that if that's going to be ordered, it should be on bench probation because that's somewhat of a monitoring system. And the, and the supervisor will call, they'll charge her $100 a month, which, again, would not go to the victim if there's restitution. And she can do an extra day of work crew a month to take care of that fee, too. So, again, until she gets all these conditions done, she'll have to do the thinking for a change and uh, be on supervised probation. Again, no contact with... The victim, understand, I'm not trying to run you out of. I thought she's in the background area. Or. Kalama. No, you are, but you know what I mean, the victim. I, I don't know. Or, I'm sorry. What, what area sure. of the county do you live in? Kalama. So you're in Kalama too, but that's a small community. But that's so obviously, if you see her at some place and not talk to her, that doesn't mean if you're in line, you got to run out of the store, but just not intentionally in contact with her for the next two years. I think that uh, should cover when she gets that done. Again, I'm not saying couldn't couple with other combination of sentencing, but I tell you how often or how unoften it's used or harm going to do three alternatives at one time without much modification. So I'm just going to go with the work crew, which may include some community service. Like I say, if you're out there working in the garden, you can have a program where you can make uh, wooden planters that they donate to nonprofits. So you don't you'll pay back in the community in some way. Is there any possible she can report um, at a different time than today? She's not any sort of flight risk. Um, we appreciate that. If she can well, report later, she'll miss the work. I think it was... Uh, well, just next week. I was just thinking next week to give her some time. So I look at the, the victim was certainly inconvenience and rush to the hospital. Uh, I remember her inconvenience is she's had eight months or something like that to prepare for it. So she'll go now.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.